Hello, my name is Jonathan Farrar. I'm from Inside 222. I'm here with David Green and we are going to be talking about people analytics at the forthcoming HR Congress. Uh, David, it's great to spend some time with you again and also be at the HR Congress doing the masterclass. Um, you know, when we started talking about this model, the nine dimensions for excellence in people analytics, what was it that you thought was useful about creating a model to help people analytics and HR professionals? Well, I think firstly, it's, as you know, it's a, it's a, it's a rapidly growing field. Um, and you know, I'm fortunate to spend quite a lot of time going around the world, mm -hmm. speaking to practitioners in different countries, uh, in different sectors, and actually a lot of the challenges they face are the same. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of them feel that almost that they're on their own. They've got, they've got various groups that they speak to, but ultimately some of the challenges are the same. If we take, for example, creating a, enabling HR and creating a culture, a data-driven culture, that seems to be a common challenge that even organizations that have been doing people analytics for over five years and are perceived as being leaders in this field, it's still an area that, that many of them struggle with. Yeah. So in the workshop, we're going to talk about the nine dimensions and those things that collectively we found will help people put some steps into practice. I guess one of the things that we've come across in talking to all the people and practitioners around the world is everyone's often asking the same questions. How can I improve my impact? How can I create value? And what should I do? Yeah. And so our nine dimensions model will address those things. Do you want to talk a little bit more about the nine dimensions or some of them and, and what people can expect in this workshop? Well, we, when we put it together, we, we put it into three parts. One was a, putting a great, great foundation in place. So, you know, stakeholders, you know, identifying, working with the right stakeholders within the business, making sure you're working on the right business problems as well, that you can have impact. Um, having good governance in place, mm -hmm. so not just ticking the boxes around privacy and, uh, and stuff like that, but around access to data, um, uh, legal, le legal elements of course, um, but also how you communicate with, with, the, with, with employees, for example, because mm -hmm. it's employee data that you're using. And then obviously the second one is on resources. I don't know if you want to talk a bit about that, John. Yeah, so resources, we talk about three things, the skills, the people, um, the particular individuals that you may need, whether they're from within your team or outside of your team that you bring in when needed. We also talk about data. A lot of people would say that analytics should start with data. We believe that analytics should start with a business problem, but we'll talk a lot about data and how you can use data. Clearly, that's the underpinning element of all analytics, but how you can use uh, the elements of data more successfully in, in the projects. And then the other third aspect of resources around technology and the types of technology, of course, you and I have been around that space for a long time, but it's about you know how to really bring that technology to life and not get blinded by all the, the, the myriad of technologies that are out there. Um, and then the other thing we're gonna talk about is the final one, which is value. So maybe David, just explain what people can expect on value. Well, I think firstly, it's the thing we talk about creating a culture of analytics, um, very important. And then it's providing value to two, two main stakeholders really. One is the business. So actually having a, an impact on the business we're saving money or actually helping generate revenue. And the second one is, uh, second one is around employees, of course, actually generating value for employees, mm -hmm. helping them personalize, uh, personalize their work experience and, and improve the, 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 their experience as well, but actually then translating that to business value. And I think this is definitely an area where a lot of people, analytics practitioners do struggle with actually demonstrating the value of, of their work. Yeah. So we're gonna offer some tips and some examples around how to do that. Yeah, very good. Well, thank you, David, for joining us today. And and please, everyone, uh, please come and join us, David and myself, at the HR Congress in Brussels in November, and we will talk about the nine dimensions for excellence in people analytics. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.